Welcome everybody to Kopi Cafe. This is our fourth episode and we're glad to be here. It's a Friday. I'm here with Rob. This is Josh. Uh, I'm Josh. And uh, what are you drinking today, Rob? It's good Friday, so. Yeah, it's a very good Friday. And I'm drinking Stella Artois today. Stella. I will be opening this with Galactus. <laughs> okay. All right. You got a special opener. I've got a I've got a Waterloo. I'm I'm a little boring today. It's uh what is it 11 a.m. my time something like that. It's a peach flavored Waterloo. It's pretty good sparkling water. Peach um, flavored Waterloo. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Look at the state of that. It's good working with you. We're having a good time. We're working our butts off. We've got a lot of irons in the fire. We're talking through, you know, quite a few different issues uh still as a as a company we've grown so fast and so many successes along the way that we are now kind of really trying to solidify get organized we positioned our marketing to go to scale so that pipeline's working really well we positioned our nft sales to go to scale so we can now run nft sales with our own technology which is very exciting so a lot of really good things and we built an amazing amazing community uh and we've cultivated this inspired creative community, which is a lot of fun for all of us uh, to, to be with you guys and be building this together, uh, which is great. Oh, another little little leak, little mini leak. We've got the tokenomics paper that will be uh, opening up to the public soon to, to review. And some of the cool things that are happening with that, that uh, we, haven't, uh, we haven't really solidified the exact details, but we're working with our attorney on it and what... What's going to happen there is we're going to be releasing some areas to involve you guys, our token holders, uh, in voting on what happens with uh, some of these different uh, fee structures and, and benefits that you guys get to have as a community. So that's that's very exciting. We'll be releasing and empowering you guys to vote on some certain directions in the platform. We'll give more details when we have them. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. So. Um, Cool stuff happening. Unreal Engine 5. They released yeah. that last week. We saw a remarkable video that uh, we can't wait to release uh, to you guys very, very soon. Uh, blew me away. What were your thoughts on it, Rob? Yeah, the new Nanite technology and the new Lumens is yeah is absolutely amazing what we can now do with, with Unreal Engine 5. Our, our projects that we've been building imported immediately no, nothing to change and we've always been building our artwork ready for for ue5 um some of some of the tools are different that, um so so we're still on on a, a bit of a learning curve but when yeah when we were sent that video it was like wow <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> mind-blowing so yeah. just to give you guys some perspective unreal engine has never released a new version that is this significantly different than the previous version. There are major, major upgrades. In fact, a lot of the people that were already building games on Unreal Engine 4 and that were well into that will have to make enormous changes to be able to continue upgrading and improving their game. And so a lot of people are gonna stay on 4 most likely. Yeah. And luckily, timing wise for us, uh, well, first of all, this allows for images that can be 50 times more uh, de detail included. That there's so much more power in the imagery that we have with Unreal Engine 5. It's just a bare minimum of the new features that we have available. There's sound functionality, all sorts of stuff that's coming with this. But thankfully, timing-wise, our team has been very excited about Unreal Engine 5. They've been working with it. They've been testing with it. Uh, They've been practicing it uh, in the in the beta release. And now that it's out, they've been anticipating this. And we get to be one of the first projects building on Unreal Engine 5. I don't know of anyone else on Cardano that's building on Unreal Engine 5 right now. They might be. Uh, and, and very few industry-wide in traditional gaming is building on Unreal Engine 5 unless the timing worked out for them like it did for us. So I think we have a tremendous advantage there. But I think also, you know, it's it's so easy to say, oh, we're on UE5. We're, but unless you've been planning for it for the last six months, 
there is a lot of companies like you say that are going to have a shot the, yep. the difference between the polygons and now how polygons are handled with triangles and then you zoom in and then more polygons come forward is is amazing but you do have to set your projects up differently and your workflow is com entirely different that's yeah. why so so all of these workflows that these guys have been building in unreal engine 4 over the past yeah. you know 8 years or however long it's been uh those workflows are not going to work for unreal engine 5 right. it's it's not a oh so it it really revolves involves changing processes stuff like that so we're well positioned to be leaders in this new technology that is incredible i can't wait to reveal this to you guys the the land sale and the cinematic video that we'll show you of what you get to to build and do with your land and and see it's just it's beautiful yeah. and our our artwork has taken leaps and bounds over what it was before and before it was amazing so now we're looking at just being pioneers and early developers in unreal engine 5 and uh yeah i i'm incredibly it, excited it even it. means that you know we've we we've often shared that we're on version one version two now version three of, of the character creator it's because we've seen ue5 release new versions and, and now our characters can be so detailed what well, they were detailed before now they're going to be even more detailed and we'll be able to get more um textures and, and lighting on the screen at once it is yeah when there you might see even that be there might even be a little mini taste leak for you guys that hang in there with us Maybe. to the end of this video there might be i don't know no yeah, it's possible. Who knows? we'll think about it um uh, og mint still ongoing uh incredibly successful we're at 693 of our ogs have minted their nfts this is testing our technology we've built it over the last five months somewhere around there and uh i'm really proud of it you guys have done a great job we we built something pretty killer here yeah. um we're we're revising a lot of the designs and process of that jeff is working on some some new ui designs for that so a few improvements a few tweaks but uh very exciting what uh yeah. what are your thoughts about how this is wrapping up we've got yeah, I mean, we, we opened up we opened up in batches. So we opened up with, a, we, we have about 1.4 thousand, yeah, 1,400 OGs. But we, so we started off with a batch of 700. So, so, we, so we have, like you say, 693, seven of that. And then if we, if we need to, we'll open that up. I don't know where the other half have gone. But, uh, yeah. You know, you've, you've only got till the 25th of April. So, I mean, so you've got another 10 days, but after that, you will not be able to mint the, this OG car again. So, I mean, you, you, you need to get in quick. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, like you say, we're improving on that. We, we, the initial burst, which was expecting, you know, within, I think within the, we said last time within 30 seconds, we, we had so many that had gone through, um, but we're improving on that already. We, we've already seen, a working version of of the with new wallets in in there so we've got eternal which is, which was cc vault that's now in there we've seen jira wallet that'll be in there so these will all be be ready for our, our next mint and ready for the land mint um so yeah and there's some other wallets that we're looking into but those are going to be the three main ones i think that that we've seen working and, and yeah it's, it's very very slick yeah i agree Completely agree. Excited to get Jiro up there. Uh, they're mm -hmm. one of our long, one of our first partners, and uh, we've worked with their dev team back and forth a little bit. They're just great to work with. Good, good company, good people. Uh, so it's it's going to be good to have that wallet up there on the site yeah. for us. I mean, we're also working with Jiro on another project. It's it's still yeah. wallet based, but um, yeah, that's under wraps at the moment. But that's that is. Oh, we're not excited. allowed to talk about that, are we? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's a definitely another game changer, but we, uh, want, we don't want to give anybody else the heads up. We're always teasing with this information we can't release. I know it's, it's, yeah. uh, I, I, we, we wish we, we could tell you or, everything. We, we, huh? No, no. Should we, we keep quiet or tell them? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Let's wait on that one. It's, it's good yeah. stuff. It's, um, but yeah. So the mobile game, tell us what's up with that. Mobile game is, is progressing so well. So we, we've now, got our apple license that's come through 
So we've been we've been building the game for Android and Apple, but now that we've got that publish uh, license, I've now seen the game working on on the Apple phone 7, 8, 11 and 13 and a couple of iPads, um, the tablets. How many phones oh. do you have, Rob? How many phones? Yeah. Oh. Do you want to see some phones? I'll give you some rich. The, the only phone that I can't get it working on is these ones. Do you remember them? <laughs> is that a black? Is that a Nokia? Nokia? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Well, that, that one's called Alcatel and that one's a Nokia. Yeah. The no Unfortunately, they're not going to be compatible on those two phones. But, you know, I've got a nice little history of phones there. Yeah. So I feel I've like got... I was still learning, like algebra when those phones were released or something I mean, anyway. if, we, if we ever have a, a, a play to earn version of snake you, you never know they, they might work on that but yeah, yeah on the macbook on the macbook and the macbook pro um and on the on the galaxy tablet as, as well the game look the game looks amazing it looks amazing on a phone you go on a bigger screen you see how sharp the graphics are and, and how well it plays and just as a caveat, we are not, the graphics are not designed to, it, it looks significantly different than the normal branding videos that you see from us with yeah. Unreal Engine 5. This is done in Unity. It's designed for a mobile game, slightly different look and feel. We're trying to keep it as, as much as possible feeling like our brand, but it is quite a bit different. And this is a mini game. It's not the game. It's not no, the, no, no, the game that's definitely complimentary yeah. the characters look slightly different so we do have a familiar character in there so so we have abigail she's one of the characters that are coming through we have other characters as well and the styling of that is going to be I, may, maybe maybe i can give you some hints of what abigail is going to kind of look like but she's she's more of a 2d two and a half d character so although it looks amazing you don't need to have these massive brand new devices to use them on it's just if you do the the graphics just look good just because everything kind of looks good on the, on a new shiny machine yeah but the but the 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 very much cartoony characters um and they kind of have bigger heads so it, it's in the style of that but we've we've started to get through some early designs for for the user interface and that user interface will be, be very 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 similar to the user interface that we're using on the pc game so yeah. so, so, that, so that'll flow through and again, it's it's incorporating our our NFT holders, the bubble jet. If you hold a, a bubble jet or a GTI, you're going to have some added benefits, added utility for for owning those and using them in the game, which is pretty exciting. Uh, and and we've made uh, remarkable progress. This is we're taking a, a it'll be familiar to some of you the the game. There's a little bit of familiarity, but uh, we're building it entirely from scratch, and it is uh, it's a pretty Pretty solid game. Pretty excited about this for sure. Yeah, and, and and you don't need the NFTs to play the game, but if you do, there's a multiplayer at the a multiplier at the end of each level, right? And that's and you actually get an additional multiplier depending on which of the five bubble jets and which of the five javelins you you've got. So if you've got all ten, you're going to get a really big bonus. If you've got maybe maybe two or, or maybe you've got even one, you'll get a, a slightly increased one. I mean, it's not. It's not massively, you know, don't go out and buy 10 of them because <laughs> it won't be that much of a massive benefit. But there is, there is definitely is a benefit on, on the more that you've got. It, it'll be, yeah. It's fun. And it's, and it's a great way for us to test out and really that one of the main points of this is to make the game fun. But obviously, another thing that we get to do is as we proceed into stage two of this, which is we've got to secure everything. We've got to figure out the play to earn. Uh, yeah. So that we can utilize that partnership we have with Tingo uh, that's got, you know, 10 million subscribers in Africa and Nigeria. And we can start taking steps towards bringing in some of these other communities where maybe five dollars in earnings a day uh, makes an enormous difference for somebody. Maybe it's 15, whatever it is. This makes a difference in, in these people's lives. And so it allows us to, to start really moving into that play to earn uh, field. So I, I, think, um, I think it's a really good point. The security side, we're taking this so serious because although on the, on the surface it looks like we're building a number of games, 
we're actually building financial products here because the DeFi and everything, you know, the, the, there is there is money value that people are coming in. They're not, it's not costing them anything to play, but but there is, there is you know, with the token in there, the ability for people to, to have real life money. So so we know there's going to be scammers and all kind of hackers that are going to be trying to get in there and, and, and raid the coffers. So yeah, security is, is so important for, for, for this game. Yeah, you take, uh, you take two communities, uh, the gaming community and the crypto community, both are very well known with uh, people that want to game or hack the system. And so yeah. we've obviously got to keep security paramount. And and uh, that's definitely something that's going to take some time. And we want to make sure that's right. So the game won't launch play to earn, but we will move to that after we've launched and tested and refined and made sure that it's absolutely laser tight uh, in terms of security. Um, so... We should move into the land sale and the the next NFT sale. So, to further stress test our our existing tech, we've got the OG, you know, mint that's going on right now. But in about two weeks, we're uh, when I get back from uh, Dominican Republic and getting married. Um, that's where I'll be next yourself. week. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, but in about two weeks, when we're back, we're gonna run another NFT sale, and it's going to be something, uh, just a, a little item that's got some rarities. It's going to have some utility, uh, might have, might even have some bling, but it's just going to be another thing that we can, we can offer and throw it out there to you guys. We really want everybody to participate in that. We're going to add utility to it over time within the game. And it's another way for us to make sure, okay, we've really got our tech nailed down uh, before we move into the land sale, which is our highest priority right now, really. That's uh, so much of all of our energy within the company is working towards this land sale. Yeah, I mean, we, we have done, like you say, we've done a mini stress test with the OG, but it wasn't the, it wasn't the biggest test. It was enough to, to know that that that, that we, we, we're, we're at a good level, but we need that open public test on, on this, this uh, kind of additional mint just to make sure that when the land sale comes through, there is no issues with it. I, I think people, I hope people will appreciate that this test has to be done because when we come to that land sale, you know, it's so crucial that it goes smooth for everyone. You know, and I just beg everyone that I would say like 70% of the errors, we had a small number of issues on, on the OG Mint, very small, but most of them were related to some sort of user error that, that you know, that they, they hadn't followed yeah quite this instructions to the T we're going to try to give you guys exactly what you have to do to make sure your wallets are set up properly. You're using the right wallets, all of that, just follow instructions, eliminate that possibility for, for uh, user error. And then hopefully everything goes smoothly. Uh, but yeah, I, and I think this one, this one, you'll be able to, we'll, we'll release more details in the future and, and you'll, you'll see it on this new mint but you'll be able to to kind of get into the into the sale into the queue and then you can leave that's it it's, it's guaranteed yeah and you will then get a follow-up respondence from us at the, probably via email may, maybe by via a discord link but you will get notification that you can you can come back and and and, and your nft but we're waiting there for you so there's no more hanging around for three or three or four hours um, you know, wondering whether things have gone through or anything like that. So we're really They'll still be wondering, but uh... well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you'll get you'll get confirmation immediately. So as yeah. soon as as soon as you, you've you've been accepted by the system, you'll get confirmation. Hopefully, that confirmation will mean all right. I'm, I now I just need to wait for further confirmation. Right. Like, and um, yeah, and it's it's still a minimal footprint on the Cardano network. Yeah, agreed. Okay, so that transition is into the land sale, which I believe our community had a few questions for us. So I'll, I'll go ahead and pop up that screen if, if that's what you'd like me to do at this point. Um, well, what, there we go. What was that? What was that? When you, land? You've, you've, oh, you've, you've, caught me, you've caught me unawares. Oh, 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 you, oh the Twitter. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, post, I posted some questions. Uh, you know, I said we, we were... We were doing this. Do you, do you have any questions for us? I mean, I can run through some questions. Yeah, if yeah. You, Just let's if, answer if like. three three questions. Just a couple. Um, questions. Yeah, 
Um, Jax, I, I know she's in Australia. She was asking, how big will the plots of land be? Uh, well, that's a great question. We're going to have five different sizes that we know of. And uh, I can't. we can't give you the exact details because we're still arranging and solidifying all of that. But we've got it pretty close. We know that we're going to have five sizes and we know that we've changed significantly from, you know, over time when we've been working working on this. And I think the the most significant thing is that we've added utility to the land where you can have a variety of different shops on your land. And, and that really increases what you can do with it and how you process resources or how you earn within the game by playing the game. So lots of cool stuff there. Yeah, I mean, I... I another question this is this is from jordan i mean i can answer this one he, 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 he asked will there be any skill trees in the game which you know is a really good question and, and it was it was how we started when we were doing our planning we had skill trees in there but we've evolved the thinking now we've gone more metaversy so you will still have grinding and daily play within the game but the skill will be handled differently more metaversy so so that'll be interesting to for us to to share how that works in the future. And um, what you mean by metaverse, uh, uh, I, I believe what you're saying is metaverse mechanics. Yeah. Meaning, yeah. you know, if somebody's going to chop down a tree, we're going to try to make that chopping process as realistic as possible. Whereas it's, it's not like you're just going to go approach the tree and option comes up and you push a button and it chops it down. It's, yeah. it's not going to be like that. It's going to be more like you walk up to the tree, you pull the axe out or, you know, we're, I, I'm, this is off the cuff, right? So I, I'm thinking through, but the, the reality is what he's, the essence of what Rob's trying to say is that we want to make it realistic. So there's going to be a swing motion involved, maybe where the, the parameter goes up and you hit the button a second time when it's at peak intensity. And that means you're going to get a great chop. You know, that sort of thing is what we're, we're really trying to make it as, as realistic and, and detailed as possible. And that's what he means by the metaverse me and, mechanics. And that entire tool itself, you know, you, you, you won't just appear. You have to go away, get the different parts, and then go to different parts of the zones and, and then craft it together, and, and depending on the material used. So so it feels familiar. It feels like what the question was asked, but it, but it's, it's slight, slightly different. Yep. Um, so there's a good one here. I mean, we... we we did the video with, um, do you remember Chad with, with his mini yeah. glasses? And one of the <laughs> he better not be based on me. That's horrible. Yeah, no, Cranky sir. Jesus wants to know. No, no, <laughs> sir. Who asked that question? Cranky Jesus, I'm, I'm yeah. reaching out to you. <laughs> um, better not yeah. be based on me. I, uh, That's it. I'm changing on... my hair. I'm getting a mohawk. <laughs> Oh, well, you've had your, you've had your wedding wedding. Uh, 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 she might not be happy with that. I'll do it after the wedding. So, any progress on the in-game economics? Yeah, I mean, you, you talked about it at the start. Actually, how many plots of land? So, I think it's well, we're not going to reveal at the moment how many plots of land there are. However, we have a different approach to telling people what land's going to be available that you're working on. Yeah, absolutely. So much more to come, guys. The 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 essence of uh, I guess what we would we'd say right now uh, before we get mad up here is that the land sale is going to I, I mean we're looking to do the best land sale ever is is what we're going for. We're going for really high quality graphics. We're going for beautiful land. We're going for when you see this video, you're going to want to be in there. And that's exactly what Jeff said about it when he watched it. And it's exactly what I felt when I watched this video that, that uh, I can't wait to show when I watched that, I was like, man, I want to be in there with my avatar exploring this land right now. And even, uh, David said that he was going around exploring and he said, yeah, it's, it's still a little buggy. We've got to work out some kinks, but it's built, it's developed. That land is developed and we, he can walk around inside of it. I can't wait to do it. So that's what we're going for with the land sale. We're going to give it a lot of utility and we're going to have a land sale that blows anything else you've seen out there out of the water. I mean, it's that's that's what we're going for. Yeah, um, I mean, it's, it's like Christmas for him. I mean, if, if you imagine as a developer, then you suddenly get this new tool. Probably yeah. let's compare it with somebody who test drives Ferrari. Yeah, it's true. It's and true. then they give you a new, a brand new engine. You're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, totally new engine. Yeah, yeah. completely agree. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and.
get our special guest up. We've got a special guest. Reminds me a lot of uh, Indiana Jones, really. <laughs> hey, there he is. What's folks. up, guys? Welcome Matt up. Jones. Indies has arrived. All right. Indiana Jones. Uh, <laughs> welcome you. to Kopi Cafe. It's good to have you on. Thank it's my you. little Thank brother, you. everyone. It's a film, so, familiar name, yeah. Matt Jones, Indiana Jones, Josh Jones. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what are you drinking, Matt? Look like green. Um, I've got a nice green veggie fruit juice. Well, Whole let's go ahead and see. Let's get a close up of that real quick. See, it looks really gonna... disgusting, but it's actually. Ah, uh, well, now pull it back towards your face because you got the background thing on. It's huh? clear. It's clear glass. You can't see it. It looks like you're. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's not Sorry. going anywhere with your Indiana fun. Jones background. It's really healthy. where's the ark? Is the ark in there behind you? I think so. Yeah, somewhere in that box right there. Okay, yep. <laughs> well, good to have you on. So, tell us a little yeah. bit about your role with uh Cornucopius. Oh man, uh, kind of a mixed bag. Um, started off as uh, you know, just some simple graphic design. I basically begged you to give me a job when I heard what you were doing. It's like, please, please give me a job, find me some work. Um, and then it slowly moved into Discord um, as the community manager. And um, and then I'm, I'm dipping into marketing a little bit. Um, and then at NFT sales manager as well. Okay. Um, so what, tell us a little bit about the uh, the mission and what you're going for with that Discord community. What's yeah? So uh, with my NFT experience, um, you know, I I was fortunate enough to to join a pretty exclusive alpha group for NFTs, which has allowed me over time to to really really dive in and immerse myself into a ton of different projects um, and. Basically, over the last year, I've been able to pick up a lot of things that I I like and dislike and what other people like and dislike uh, in these communities. And uh, my goal is to always bring that into our community, is to have a very organic, supportive, um, inspiring, creative uh, mentality within the community. And... Um, I think we've done a really good job of, of, of getting to that point. Um, you know, you and I discussed from the beginning, we don't want to have invite contests. We don't want to have grind contests where people are just spamming chat with, with nonsense to reach a particular level. We just want people to come in and have genuine conversation and be friendly, be supportive. Um, and we've, we've done that, I think, um, yeah, absolutely. And our organic I, growth I, has been incredible. I, I yeah. think I think we've done an amazing job with, with Discord. I, I I see you there every day. Sometimes there's a bit of tough love, um, but I mean, yeah, the the community have got right behind, and and they're the same spirit. Our, our community is great. I think I think it's probably worth mentioning that you you talk about you the other communities that you're in and the other Discords that you're in. They're not on Cardano, are they? So your experience is, is on other chains. So how does that compare with, with Cardano? Yeah. Um, Great question. The Alpha Group I'm in primarily targets Ethereum projects. Um, so I am seeing a ton of Ethereum-based projects, Solana as well. Um, and it's a, it's a totally mixed bag. Like some, some have massive invite contests and grind contests and their discords will fill up to like a hundred thousand people in a matter of days. And it's just, it's botted and burner accounts and the, the chat's moving so fast. You can't even have a conversation. It's just completely pointless. Um, and you know, of course they meant their, they meant their NFT. It's full of flipping, uh, undercutting, et cetera, et cetera. And the goal, the goal with creating a strong supportive community is that you know we have people that truly believe in the project they hold their nfts of course we have some flippers it's part of the it's part of the economy of an nft sale secondary market um but if you go to jpeg store we i couldn't tell you what the percentage of of listings we have but i know it's low which shows that we have a strong support for our community 
Right. Yeah. I know on I know on the OG I men and the OG are you know the, the the people that were in really early, but I think a, a lot of the were were people that we've upgraded. So can can you share with people how how they get upgraded and how how they can still become OGs? Yeah. So over time, um, you know the mods the mods are particularly uh, doing a lot more watching than I am because. You know, day in, day out, we're, we're in meetings, we're doing other things. Um, so I don't get to see as much of the conversation as as I would like. But um, typically, OGs and mods will come to me and they'll they'll suggest uh, candidates and I'll, I'll take a look at it. And, you know, obviously, you know, supportive, genuine conversation is is a big plus, obviously, if you you come in and start asking for og it's like okay well i don't think you understand the point of it um but yeah it's it's kind of a, a vote based system suggested system and a lot of times i will pick up on on the same name doing really really cool things in the community and uh in the back of my mind i know that they will be upgraded at some point when i when i get around to it uh or when they su get suggested by a mod um so after this mint is over, we will start upgrading again as we see see those people fit. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's and a continual growing army of support for us. So yeah, and it's it's one of those things where we need that that community of OGs to grow with the general growth mm -hmm. of the Discord, so that over time we are able to keep this community healthy, meaning there's informed people in there ready to answer questions. There's there's a positive, creative, inspired culture inside of the Discord. If we wanted to blow it out of the park and do a, uh, a million token air, or a 20 million token airdrop and uh, through coin market cap or something like that, we could get a flood of people, but like, then what? Then what happens? You get a they flood come of people in and then they leave. And things get yeah so right now and and i had feedback just the other day from a very cool uh rob got pinged on discord from some of the users that hey there's uh dan from crypto capital venture is uh is is talking about cornucopias right now or, or something he tweeted about it and so rob reached out to him we set up a call we talked to him and we asked him hey what's it like uh because he told us hey i've been i've been in your uh discord so we asked him, what's it like? And he said, man, I love it. I love it in there. It's a great culture. You guys have really done a, a, a wonderful job. And we had a great conversation with him. I love what he's doing at Crypto Capital Venture. And uh, he actually tweeted about us again last night. So we really thank you, Dan, for your, your support and what we're doing. And we got some, uh, he's a cool guy. So we've got some really good ideas uh, that we're going to work through with him over time and and this might unfold into something more uh i th i think it's very possible so we're yes. we're excited about the potential there but um yeah you've done a great job in discord um yeah i've got a gift for you actually matt oh oh, oh surprise gift i have <laughs> the holy grail oh look at that uh, are you gonna is wisely is this the holy grail <laughs> that's a really good one yeah well drink, drink from it, it at your own peril that's what if i it, if it uh if it really was it would be a wooden cup i believe oh wasn't it wooden the carpenter yeah cup? i believe it was a carpenter's oh. cup yeah, yeah. Cup maybe that was the, the poor yeah. choice one where you yeah. dissolve into yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think that's a good passed. looking chalice a good looking you cup. Yeah. The test josh yeah so i did i passed the test um yeah. The leap of faith. What was that? Is that Temple of Doom or no? That was the, no, that, the, the leap of faith. The leap of faith, where he had to walk off faith. the cliff and. Uh, no, that's giving your job up and jumping full in on cornucopia. That's yeah, cool. that is. Hey, <laughs> nice. Well done. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We did it. Thank God that worked out. Uh, so Matt, <laughs> NFTs. Um, you you have a lot of experience with that, and and tell us a little bit about what your role is there with cornucopias uh yeah so a little over a year ago i still thought you know nfts were a stupid jpeg but i i then uh you know 
broke through that barrier and uh, started minting them and had fun. Uh, I lost some money, of course, didn't know what I was doing. Uh, and then, like I mentioned earlier, I, I landed in that alpha group and it allowed me to see so much. And I immersed myself in the space uh, and started realizing how much future utility there will be um, as this metaverse, um, you know, technology grows. So, um, yeah, day in, day out, I was in, in and out of projects and I, I've been minting at least a project a week. Um, yeah. So I get to see all these different variables. Um, so it, it naturally just worked out to where, um, when we started, uh, building strategy for our own NFTs, I had a lot of input on, on, you know, you know, what the supply should be, you know, all the variables that will create a healthy NFT sale and secondary market and make, make our holders happy. And also, you know, be somewhat appealing to flippers and short-term investors. Cause that's, you know, it all balances out. And if you have, if you have one flaw in that, in that, uh, I guess, group of variables, then, then there will be a noticeable flaw in, in the sale or in the secondary market. And, um, my, my goal for all of these sales has been to, you know, suggest what I think is a good balance and present it to you guys. And then we, we talk over as a team and we bring it to market. Um, and I, th I think it's gone really well, uh, up to this point, obviously with the, with the mint and the javelin, we gave them away for free, but the, you know, the maximum of one, the supply was great. Um, the demand was there and with all of our NFTs up to this point, we've seen a really, really good, uh, secondary volume and, um, holders are great. So yeah, yeah I'm yeah. going to continue to do that going forward. And we're continuing to add utility, utility, utility. Yeah, yeah so, exactly. Yeah. And that's another part of my was... job is trying to come up with, with various ways of, of utility and talking with you guys and the game devs, like how can we, how can we add all of these things to make the holders happy? Um, so, yeah. so. What were you about to say, Rob? Yeah, I, I was going to say that I think you got the balance right. If, if we look at the, the original bubble jets, the, the javelins and the OG, you, you can see there was value there for the people that wanted to come in and flip them. There's value there for the holders. Um, everything is above mint price. Fair enough, some of the mint prices were free, but they're still above the, the original price that we were going to sell them for now. Yeah, I mean, I think you've done a great job. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, doing very well. Well, thank you so much. Any final thoughts for us, Indy? Oh, no, just uh, to my community. I uh, love you guys and love coming in and chatting with you every day. Just stay positive, stay supportive. And um, yeah, awesome. Keep working hard. Thanks, right, for, thanks, thanks for joining, Matt. You bet. Bye bye. Cheers. All right. One final uh, leak coming up here to close out the show. Rob, what do you have? Is it ready? Um, yes, it, it is ready. So this this was part of the video that we were shared, um, but it, it's only about seven seconds. So I might play it twice. And it's it, a it's little right. mini. Mini leak, yeah. It's right at the end, We're, I can't share the land with you, but what what I will share with you is 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 a cave. So what? Play it back slowly. Look for it frame by frame. Look at the lumens. Look at the poly count. And look, analyze every second of it. Whatever you need to do. UE five is amazing. Yes, yes, it is, and I think it's just fantastic that we're sharing a cave. It makes me think of Plato's cave, and if you really know that story uh that uh, i think it was aristotle or socrates a lot of wisdom in that story of people being revealed uh in a new light uh where it's it's a nice metaphor for uh crypto really uh yeah. waking up and seeing things in a different way so uh yeah excited to share this there where might a, there might be a holy grail in there it ties in with is this the right screen or is yeah, it yeah is okay the right one. okay Let's it's let's very, go for very it. Very quick. Do not blink. There we go. I mean, you play that back in slow motion. Yeah. A I'll little. Uh, I'll play it again. 
Yeah. But that's that's all you get. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great. Uh, really high quality imagery there. Unfortunately for you guys, it's just a small tease, a small taste of something that is quite a bit uh more remarkable than anything you've seen from us so far and uh we can't wait to reveal that but it's gonna have to be a few weeks so i, I don't think we're gonna have a kopi cafe next week as soon as you're getting married uh well you're welcome to do one without me that might be weird if you're be, be very be very weird i i kind of feel you would leave me hanging on every question <laughs> yeah i do, I do have be... a gift for you though josh but you 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 do need to claim it in the next few days i mean i know it might be quite expensive so i have to get to london to, to, to well and, and here you go look well i like it all right it's, little harry easter weekend and here is your golden egg okay how do i get there to get it a little harry potter golden well, egg what I will do is I will hold it for you in my stomach and um, I, I will give you an update on how well it is. These gifts from Rob are quite interesting. <laughs> I, I, I brought, you remember I shared the mug with you? I, I looked after that mug for about two months. And, yeah, that's then, it. and then I got three trains. We ended up to London and then we all got in the hotel. And as soon as I got to the hotel, I opened the bag and it smashed on the floor. Yeah, yeah. And I was anticipating getting that cornucopia mug and taking it home. Yeah. Uh, which by the way, uh, the merch store is that up? It's is not up? it's not up at the moment, but Okay, but it's got to be real soon, so. Yeah, just I'll, quick, I'll just get one on our reminder. merch store. Here we go. Yeah. I'll get one on our merch store. Um, but yeah, each time Rob's announced a gift to me, somehow there really isn't a gift. Well, now, I've, we've made three videos by now. Three videos that the community haven't seen because you keep deleting them, you know. So it works <laughs> <for> balance. <laughs> Touche. All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening. We'll see you not next week, but in two weeks. All yeah. right. See you later.